Okay. Welcome to the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group meeting. It's the 2nd of July. Uh, remind everyone that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct in our meetings. Uh, thanks for joining us. Aditya, great to have you here. Likewise, Mike, for you. Thanks very much. Happy to be here, Mike. All right. So um, agenda topics that I had for today, I have open action items, Java 11 as default in our images, and Mark's preliminary document preparation for a JEP. Okay, so that is this place here. Then coordinating proposed Docker changes. We've got a new change coming in that is doing multi-arch and faster builds by using Docker Build X. Uh, need to review and comment on the pull request. So coordinating proposed Docker changes that's all that I had. Mike or Aditya, anything you want to add to the agenda? Uh, no, not for, not for me. No. Okay, so quick look at the action items. The JEP, JEP for Java 11 is under development now. The JEP for Docker operating system support, I've still got to create. Um, sincere apologies, way behind. Uh, the plugin installation manager docs seem to have paused. Uh, Sudakar has not responded to comments, but it's it's good enough that we may just go ahead and proceed with it because it's it's significantly more than the the existing documentation. I just have to understand and be sure that the things that are in there work. And then Jim Crowley had an item to submit refinements, and as far as I can tell, it's going to be superseded by. Tim Jacomb's work, Tim's using some of Jim's ideas. Um, and so I think this one will likely close out the next time we meet and just say, hey, uh, let's use Tim's. Any questions or concerns on the action items? No. Okay, so then the, the next topic then is Java 11 and what I think we ought to do is first look at and review, be sure, Mike, that I've understood uh, the, the topic, the, the way we viewed it from the Contributor Summit. I've reviewed the meeting notes and the, and the recording, but want to double check to be sure that I've not uh, misstated something. So what I think we've got is the decision was described here, or the, the preference, decision is too strong. Sorry, I should be more precise. The proposal was delivered Java 8 based images as, a, as an escape hatch and Java make the change to Java 11 in the September LTS release. Whoops, where is my note there? Yeah, so make, a, make, make Java 11 the default in the LTS release and four to six weeks before that in the, in the weekly release and provide as, a, as an escape hatch an L, a JDK 8 image that um, also includes, the, that they could use if they absolutely had, had to have JDK 8. Um, document it, include it in the upgrade guide, etc. cetera. Uh, we need to revisit the agent containers and add the same tags there. Does that so, match, Mike, with what, what you had intended or? Um, it does, I think. So we'd have two explicitly named sets of images, one with the dash JDK8 and one with the dash JDK11 suffix. And the JDK 11 would also be the equivalent of the uh, latest tag for just the base Jenkins. Oh, image. that's okay. That's a very, uh, you just, you make an important note. Um, use, um, 
and I liked your phrasing, explosively named images. So meaning um, much more detailed name, I think is what you're saying, right? So like it would be something on the order of um, Buster dash something, something, uh, JDK 11, or maybe you can describe further what, what, um, what it's basically just so at least from the, the JDK perspective, like if you're looking, you're not sure what image you want to grab. <clears throat> like we have, you know, I, if I definitely want JDK 11 or definitely want JDK 8, then it's pretty clear from the image name what I'm going to get. Um, and then I assume by making it to the default that if you just say, give me the latest Jenkins image, that's more or less going to be a link to the latest JDK 11 image. Does that make? Right. Yes. Okay. And then <clears throat> the, the, the simple names are aliases. For one of the of the more detailed names, uh, latest may point to JDK eleven on Debian Buster with adopt Open JDK eleven dot zero dot twelve assuming that's the version that's shipped by that point, because right now we're at 11.0.11. .11. Did I capture that correctly? Uh -huh. Okay, great. Um, I don't know if it, if it is important to <clears throat> call out that it's adopt open JDK in the JDK 11 image names, or if just JDK 11 is sufficient. I guess if we haven't really been explicit about which JDK vendor the image is built with in the past, it doesn't probably matter be that fine uh, today but <clears throat> on the other hand like if we're taking the time to change the way we name things like you can at least consider if i don't have enough widespread docker experience to know like what is the typical typical convention if if any i would say probably based on my experience is not really a strong convention Oh. Yeah, I've I've certainly not seen one, and we've got two or three different conventions in the in the Jenkins images. So if we look at, I, I was just realizing. sampling this morning. So the controller images, the tags look like this. They're pretty short, and nondescript in terms of which JDK is installed or anything like that. Right, the crucial attributes are not visible in the tag name, but. The inbound agent image includes the remoting version number, uh, the JDK version, the JDK, and some operating system specific things as well. Um, then the outbound agent is a mix of that. Some, some like these include version number, but not much else. Others encode, include version number and operating system. So it feels like this may be a place where we we uh, adopt a, a naming convention across all the images. I mean, I, I'm always in favor of trying to be self-documenting and consistent and explicit in naming. I know it's often hard to go back and <clears throat> retrofit that at some point when you've accumulated enough uh, history out there. So. Right, but but for new images, and and certainly we will have new images here, or or we could add add additional tags that describe, hey, this is the the JDK version that's inside here, and this is the the remoting version. So those 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 now, are two important things, I think, because knowing the remoting, like you know, you have compatibility issues, you know, with remoting versions, so knowing what version of remoting is in a particular image is probably useful when you're trying to match it up with, um, you know, what other base image you're going to deploy. Okay. Um, yeah. So it feels like there's a, 
uh, tagging convention here that I need to include in in this plan that I hadn't hadn't even considered. Okay, insert a proposal here for the image for image tagging convention. that will be used for new images. Great, okay. All right, so anything else in terms of contributor summit concepts? And so the timeline, let's be sure we've got the timeline. So the timeline, four to six weeks before September LTS, we change the weekly uh, base images to JDK 11. Right, and then September LTS changes LTS base images, LTS base isn't needed, just say color images, images to JDK 11. Now that's the controller And now the question is, how do we handle the agents? And I assume the agents transition, do we start the transition of agents prior to LTS or wait for LTS? If we don't do it prior to LTS, are we going to potentially cause people problems if they End up mm. with a mismatched Java 8 and Java 11 um, agent and controller. Good, good point. What if, what if, I had not considered this for the discussion at the at the summit, but I wonder what if we, what if we, four to six weeks prior, add. Um, you used a great phrase for it. What was your phrase? It was explosively named tags for JDK 11 agent images. Mm -hmm. So these would be new tags, right? Uh -huh. Is that the same four to six weeks prior as the uh, previous bullet point? Or is yeah, that that's what I was trying to say. So those, so those two or to pair it like at the same time, essentially. Like, yeah, yeah, I think, I think so. that makes sense. Like, rather than sort of dribbling out name changes over, like, I would introduce the new name change tagging scheme you know, for agents and controllers ahead of the LTS. And then that way everything kind of moves together at the same pace. Yeah, okay, so we say, hey, four to six weeks before the September LTS, we switch the weekly controller images to JDK 11, and we add JDK 11 agent tags with more precise names. And then at the September LTS, we switch, whoops, switch the LTS controller images and switch the agent images to JDK 11. Does that, does that seem like a sensible approach? So I, I and certainly I'll, I'll bring it up in the mailing list and in the JEP for further discussion. Yeah, I think that makes sense to me. Okay. All right, I see lots of work hiding there. Okay, cool. Aditya, any any things you observe here of dangers we have or things where we might be making, need to be considering something? Uh, I had a question that when are we changing like 
the controller NTS image is like you know tagging it with explosive naming. I see that. Oh, oh, good point. So you you say when do we when do we add the add? Yeah, good one. Shouldn't we do more precise? Add more add add controller uh, tags with more precise names when we start when we do when we do the weekly. Uh -huh. And now, will we need to? Yeah, we'll probably also need. That'll probably be this more precise weekly names. And this one will be more precise LTS names. And there isn't really a concept on the agents of an LTS. So yeah, does that, does, does that address your question, Aditya? Thanks for asking it. Yeah, yes, it does. OK, very good. All right. OK, one of, one of my concerns hiding here is um, our current images, uh, many of our current images are intentionally based on adopt open JDK images. Uh, let's use their current name, Adoptium Images. And that's, yeah, let's, okay, back to where we were. Adopt Open JDK Images. And, and that's great. We like that. It's very healthy that they provide the image and we just base on it. Um, for instance, our Debian Buster and Alpine are both that way. However, uh, Debian Bullseye is coming. It's unclear to me if it will be available in time. Or adopt to provide an image for it. And so my proposal is we decouple this for bullseye. Just we watch and see Buster remains fully supported. This is Debian 10 bullseye. We consider opportunistic. Any objections to that? Great. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Any other topics there? Um, we could look at this Google Doc. I've I've got some uh, some t the table of contents. I think is a good first question of what other things should be included in this document. So I put in goals and current state and desired future state and image tagging convention, changes we need to make to implement it and impact analysis and announcements and documentation. Are there other things, Mike or Aditya, that you would recommend? Oh, this document, this proposal as a Jenkins enhancement proposal should cover these things. Should we have a timeline thing or is that implicit? Um, I mean, beyond the desired future state of September 2021. Um, right. Yeah, maybe that's already enough to just say desired future state is is enough of an expression. Can you scroll I'm, down to us? Is there anything in that section at the moment? There, there. It's just right now saying, hey, describe here what it should look like. And what I was thinking it would describe is here are the tags here's the tagging format we would use here is the so the image tagging convention oh that needs to be a level three head there yes yeah, so I, I think that's pretty good um i think that is probably enough of a timeline great okay. then all those things you know as we you know maybe like for things like the image tagging convention or even just a need the main paragraph there, if we kind of work backwards from September LTS is 
approximately going to be this date or whatever. So that means, you know, four to six weeks, call it six weeks before that, we should be ready or prepared to start making the weekly name changes, like rolling those out, sort of, you know, even if it's just so September, no, so August. Right. July, beginning of August, you know, any, anywhere we can kind of point out a milestone, like a key milestone. May, maybe, maybe that's what we should, maybe that's what we should call it out is milestones. I like that, that wording as, as just say milestones so that we know if we're on track or not. Right. Because yeah, we've got, maybe, there are some crucial date based things like the September, September 2021 LTS um, freeze or LTS is selection date. So this is the date when the Jenkins based version is selection. And then, then there's the September 2021 LTS release candidate is built. Then there's the September 2021 LTS release is Does, does that seem sensible, Mike? Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. And maybe milestones even belongs inside the future state. Yeah, leave it. Okay. Anything else? Uh, it's still a rough draft. It still needs lots and lots of things in it. I'll continue working on it today and ask for feedback from various people. Any other things on that proposed JEP? Okay, great. Next topic then was Tim Jacome has, has submitted a proposal that uses a parallel build process and could lead us to eventually having multi-architecture multi, multi Docker images. Uh, it also appears to be as much as 4X faster than the current build process we're using. And one of the concerns from the security team has been the slow slow process that we have to build our docker images today so for me this one is is a is a marvelous accomplishment let me get the the a link to the pr embedded here so that others can take a look at it Okay, so feedback is coming in, need to do some, yeah, some further exploring. And we've got this multi-arch builds, which will be superseded by PR 1137. The install plugins.sh is dependent on documentation from Sudakar, and that still needs my review and further comments and corrections. And we this non-root user, I I don't know where what its current status is. Those were all the topics that I had. Anything else that we missed in today's agenda? Okay, then I think we can call an end to today's session and I'll send you links to, the, to, to those documents and look for your feedback. Thank you uh, very much, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you.
everybody has a good weekend. All right. Yes. Enjoy the weekend.